Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebraic equation? We are given x factorial equals x cubed minus x. Where this x is a member of an integer. So to get the value of x, consider the solution from here. From here, we have to understand the concept of factorial. If we have x factorial, this is given as is an iterated number that keeps going. The first number is x, removing the factorial, then multiply by subtracting one one from here, that is x minus one. Then it continues x minus two, that is how it keeps going. So the factorial that is still showing here shows that we still have x minus three, x minus four. And losing a number, if you have 4 factorial, 4 factorial is 4 bracket 4 minus 1 multiplied by 4 minus 2 multiplied by 4 minus 3 multiplied by 4 minus 4. We are going to stop here because the next number will be negative and we don't have to have anything like negative so we stop at 0. So this gives us 4 bracket 4 minus 1 that is 3 bracket 4 minus 2 that is 2 bracket 4 minus 3 that is 1 and here is 0 factorial but 0 factorial it gives us 1 the all of this gives 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 1 that is 24 4 factorial it gives us 24 and uh, it doesn't end here let's say i have a number different from x like if you have x plus 1 for instance and this is having factorial this gives us applying the same thing the first one we start with x plus one then followed by deduction of one one this gives us x plus one minus one so the next one will be x plus one minus two that's how it keeps going and with this we have x plus one then bracket this plus one can suit we have x multiply by x minus 1 factorial and that's how it keeps going so having understand the concept of factorial so let's come back to the given question since we have x factorial we can just express that as x bracket x minus 1 bracket x minus 2 i'm going to stop at 2 factorial and x cubed minus x Factoring out x, we are going to have x squared minus 1. And from here, x squared minus 1 is the same thing as where we have x bracket x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. This is difference of 2 squared. And looking at these two sides, if we divide both sides by x, so we are going to have this cancelled and this also cancelled. So from this, we are going to cancel this because x is greater than 0 and x is greater than 1. So we are going to equate x minus 2 factorial to be x plus 1. Then we have x minus 2 and factorial equals x plus 1. So let me put this in brackets. Then I don't want to guess. So what I will do here is suppose I move this x to this left hand side. We have x minus 2 factorial, then minus x equals 1. And if I add 2 to both sides, we have x minus 2 factorial minus x plus 2 equals 1 plus 2 then with this let's say i have x minus 2 factorial minus out then we have x minus 2 taking out minus here this remains minus minus times plus is minus and minus times minus that is plus equals 1 plus 2 it gives us 3 and the next step we are going to have then we have x minus 2 factorial minus x minus 2 
equals 3. Then, according to the factorial rules that we applied above, so here we change it to x minus 2, then here is x minus 3 factorial minus open bracket x minus 2 equals 3. And with this, we factor out x minus 2. So this is x minus 2, this is x minus 2, just like quadratic. Then we have x minus 2 bracket. Here remains x minus 3 factorial, and this remains 1. Everything equals 3. But this is not equal to 0, that we will say x minus 2 equals 0, or the whole of this in the bracket equals 0. So this is 3. We have to understand the rules of inequality here. Suppose I change this one to 3 multiplied by 1. So with this, if x is a member of an integer, for the case of these questions, we need a values that will make the left hand side equals the right hand side. So for this, x minus 2 here is greater than x minus 3 factorial minus 1. Only when 3 less than or equals to x, x less than or equals to 5. And in other case, x minus 3 factorial minus 1 is greater than x minus 2. This is only when x is greater than or equals 6. But here, we need a value of x that will make the left hand side and the right hand side equal, and that is 5. So, 5 will make this thing equal, but before then, so let's check for when x minus 1 is now equals 3. So, as that one equals to 3, we are going to have x minus 2 equals 3. If x minus 2 equals 3, definitely x equals 5. So, this is the solution. And if you try and look for the other side, letting x minus 3 factorial minus 1 to be equals 1. This will also equal. Why? So we have x minus 3 factorial to be equals. Taking 1 here, we are going to have 2. But having 2, we can still have it as 2 factorial. So if 2 factorial and 2, they are the same. Then we cannot try and cancel factorial. Canceling factorial from here, we have x minus 3 equals 2 and x also equals 5. So this also equal as we have in the first one. And we try and substitute back into the given question, just like to put a check, we are going to have x factorial equals x cubed minus x. So by writing factorial a, we have 5 factorials equals 5 cubed minus 5. And 5 factorial it gives us 120. 5 cubed is 125 minus 5. That is 120 as well. So the left hand side and the right hand side are equal. This shows that x equals 5. How do you solve this? Let's hear in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye bye.